Wrestling with AEW Forbidden Door. It takes place later today at in Elmont, New York, uh, at the USB um, Arena. God help me. I mean, it's pretty bad when you're in a random part of New York that literally nobody knows. I'm sure if Scooter was here, he would tell me Elmont is bumfuck nowhere New York. Um, just kind of tells you where AEW is at this point. But, um, you know, it is a AEW event. So, you know, they're going to, um, they're going to blow their load on a massive card. Um, 14 matches in total. Um, including four pre-show matches. Fuck me. Um, if I'm being honest, looking at this card as a whole, it's peaks and valleys. There's some things that I would be interested in actually seeing, while others, um, definitely bathroom break worthy. So let's get into it. First pre-show match, Los Ingovnables de Hopon, Yoda Suji, Titan and Hiromo Takahashi versus the Lucha Brothers Penta L Zero Meadow and Ray Phoenix and Mystico. Um <coughs> Honestly, it sounds like a banger. Um I like all the guys in it. Ex excluding Mystico. Going with LIJ, because I like those guys. Um, second match, Chris Statlander and Momo Watanabe. Momo, ooh, I didn't mean to make you cry. Um, they fight Willow Nightingale and Tom Nakano. I'm sure that will put asses in seats. Um, Chris Statlander should Probably should have had just a singles match with Nightingale, but I digress. Um, it would make sense for her and Momo um, to win this match. Um, third pre-sale match, uh, Mariah Carey versus Soraya. Don't call me Soraya. Don't call me Soraya. Just fucking call me Paige. Um... Why Holly Quinn Cameron is with uh, Soraya, Soraya, Soraya. Um, I have no idea, but I digress. This is also an Owen Hart Cup tournament first round match as well. I did not notice that. Um, I s Do you give Mariah made the win? No, I think Sarai would win this one. When's the last time they've done anything significant with Paige? Then we have House of Pancakes, Malaki Black, and um, Brody Burger King. Um, they're wrestling uh, Tomato Ishii um, and Kyle O'Reilly Parts versus Roderick Strongneck. Um, and Gabriel Kidd, the fuck, versus Private Party, Zay and Quinn. Why the fuck is this a match on the card? Do I even care who wins this match, <laughs> if I'm being honest? Oh, uh, this is just... This is like they literally picked names out of a hat. Ugh. Fuck it, House of Black. Now that that was only the the pre sale because you get a two hour fucking pre sale. Fuck me. Um, the first match on the actual card, we got a ladder match for the Vinket. TNT Championship because Ed's had to go break his fucking leg. We have Kolkatska take Shitter versus Mark Briscoe 
versus Jungle Boy versus Dante's Inferno, Martin, um, versus fucking Leo Ross versus El Fantasmo. Another match that seems like they picked names out of a hat. Um, a clusterfuck of what the fuck, if I'm being completely honest. Um, it would make sense if they gave Take Shit uh, the title. Plus, on a personal level, I'd like to see Mark Briscoe win the championship. But in actuality, they're going to give Jack Perry the championship because it's AEW. And, you know, um, nepotism. Nepotism is the key. Uh, then we got the learning tree. NDA is Jericho and Big Bill. They're teaming with Jeff Cobb for reasons I don't even know why. Um... With Brian Keat, that guy, um, they're wrestling Samoa Joe, Hook, and Katsuri Shibata. Um, yeah, this is an unnecessary match, I would say. Uh, give Hook and Samoa Joe to win? There's not a lot I could really say about this other than it's not something I want to see. Alright, um, then we have Timeless, Tony Storm, with um, Lex Luthor. Uh, she's defending the AEW Women's Championship against Marie Amina Sakawa. Wawa. Uh, and Mariah, Mariah Carey will be at ringside to support both of participants. This is a weird fucking match. <laughs> this, this is such a weird thing to do. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm somewhat interested to see what happens. Um... I don't think, I don't think that there's ever been a, a, um, a wrestling rivalry where two women are competing for the affection of another one by rubbing their face in their breast. Um, it, very, um, they're, they're tr definitely trying to get that, uh, 18 to 34 demo. I'll say that. Um, either way, Tony is going to win this match. Whether or not Mina will be a wawaing around after this is yet to be seen. So we shall see. Then we have ZSJ Jack, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. He's wrestling freshly pooped Orange Cassidy. Why, I have no fucking idea. But it's AEW, so Orange Cassidy is probably going to win. Then we have MJF versus He Cheerio. He Cheerio. He's from... He's from Smell. Because that's who you put one of your biggest stars against. Cheerio from Smell. He's not a sexy boy. He's just a smelly boy. Smelly boy. Yeah, MJF definitely is winning this fucking match. Then we have the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship match, John Moxicillin versus Tetsuya Naito. I, if you listened to our G1 bracket reveal last week, I was under the impression that we may see John Moxley versus um, 
uh, Soto Umno in the main event of Wrestle Kingdom this year. I I would like to think or say at least that Naito would have a shot at winning this match simply for the fact that he he's in the G1 this year and Moxley is not. And primarily New Japan likes to have their champion in the G1. I feel like that would give them a good out to get the champion in that tournament. But Naito has always been very 50-50. He, ne he hasn't necessarily been doing anything significant in New Japan as of recently. I mean, his last match was against fucking Callan Newman. So, I don't, my heart is telling me Naito, my brain's telling me Moxley. I think Moxley will win this match. Then we have the Young Fox, um, Matt and Nick Jackson with Okada, Kazuchika. Um, the wrestling scissor ace, uh, Anthony Bell movement, Max Plascaster, and Hiroshi Tanahashi with daddy ass, Billy Gunn in their corner. <sighs> the Elite will win this match. I think that's all that needs to be said. Alright, uh, winner takes all match for the... AEW That Bitch Show Championship and New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Women's Championship Mercedes Monette versus Stephanie Vanquil. Um, yeah, this is Mercedes getting everything she wants in the world and more. The championship that she should have won in Long Beach over a year ago finally will be on her waist because she wants it. Nepotism. Then we have the Men's Owen Hart Cup Tournament first round match. Brian Danielson versus Shingo Takake. I'm not a big fan of Danielson. People know that. Kind of hate his matches. But I think that him and Shingo can have a banger. Um, this could definitely be a, uh, one of the better matches on the card. Um, definitely the match uh, Meltzer is going to masturbate the hardest to. Um, will it be 10 stars? Probably not. Can it be um, a banger? 100%. Uh, that being said, Brian wins. Then we have a singles match for the AEW World Championships for Strickland, which prints na 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 na. Hey, hey. Goodbye. Against Will Asprey. I want to believe AEW will do the right thing and keep the belt on Swerve. But Tony is so enamored with Asprey. I can't see him not giving him the belt. I, if, he, if Tony had... Tony would give him the belt off his pants, I feel. He's, like, enamored with Will Ospreay. I think it's somewhat, um... Put, it's somewhat, like, um... Bad fate with the fans. Considering that, you know... They, they put so much in Swerve. And then, a couple months later... He drops the belt to Will Ospreay. Considering, you know, how long um, MJF held that belt. I mean, even uh, Joe had a bit of a run with it. I feel like it's... I feel like it's all around sucky for Swerve. Definitely unfair. 
I want to say Swerve wins, but I kind of already know that Asprey will be winning. Alright, um, that will conclude our coverage of Forbidden in Your House. Um, join us next week as we preview, uh, we review this so God knows um, we're going to need some, um, some help with that. And I'm not talking about Coleco and Scooter. I'm talking about um, of the liquid variety. Hey, folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling With Entertainment. Enjoy the show. Support these guys. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.